training much different back then versus what it is today? Yeah, very different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very different. So different, you know? And yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I can, I can, I can tell by your face expression that there's a lot of memories there, <laughs> just coming yeah, back right now. There right? is, man. Lots of but, good memories, man. But, but jujitsu is not. It's complex. There's a lot of layers. Very, there's a yeah. lot of variables, and many, mm -hmm. many, and I think more people quit jujitsu than they than more people actually do it long term. Unfortunately. You yeah. know, it, when you look at the global picture, yet today I feel that jujitsu is much more simplified for a student mm -hmm. than it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. Give me a glimpse of what training looked like way back in 90s or early 2000s when you were getting your toes, you know, wet in this whole yeah. craziness. Yeah, so we would... We would come in, we would warm up. Sometimes the warm ups weren't too bad. Sometimes they were really bad, um, according to what kind of day they were having. Uh, we would do our warm ups, lots of calisthenics and stuff, and um, nothing really has anything to do with jujitsu, <laughs> and uh, not a, definitely not a sport specific warm up. So we would do our warm ups, and then they would teach us whatever the technique was that they were working on that day. So say, let's just for simplicity's sake, say armbar from guard. So we would do armbar from guard and we would do the armbar from guard without a whole lot of resistance for probably 15 minutes, you know, and then they would turn the timer on five minute rounds and they're like, let's go. And then it would just be on. We just go at it and uh, we would just roll. And so we would do probably an hour of rolling. So it was a 90 minute class. So you'd have like 30 minutes of warm up and then a drill, a technique, and then probably an hour of just five minute rounds rolling with everybody, just getting after it, killing each other. 